Jam quarterback with Andrew Jones, presented by Jim Jones of Lightfoot. Hello everyone, I'm Andrew Joyce, EKB Sports Director and football fan. Welcome to our season premiere of Armchair Quarterback, a weekly high school and college football show spotlighting local high school and college football in the mountains. Each week, we'll display our local athletes' outstanding plays, we'll bring you highlights from area games, and we'll release our Sports Guys Super 7 rankings. We'll have interviews with players, coaches, and maybe a fan or two, and we'll preview the week ahead. Yes, we'll pa pack all of that into a half hour. We've got a great show tonight with a preview of the Community Trust Bank Pike County Bowl and all the games around the region. Highlights from last week and coaches interviews, and of course, those Super 7 rankings. And it's all presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches at Pikeville Commons. Let's get it started as we'll each week with some interesting tidbits from the first week of the regular season. Kentucky class AAA appears to be loaded at the top. Belfry, Corbin, Lexcath, Boyle County, E-Town, and Louisville Central all took highly competitive wins last week. Big scores in week one, seven teams eclipsed 60 points, and the blowout of the week was Shelby Valley 66-0 win over Jenkins, while the biggest output was Mason County's 68 points. First win? for Floyd Central. They celebrated the program's first win in school history, and five first-year coaches got wins, including Sean Hager at Floyd Central, Dudley Hilton, who's back at Bell County for the third time, and Louisville Central new head man, Marvin Dantzler. And the old ball coach, Steve Spurrier, the former Florida and South Carolina coach. His grandson is the starting quarterback at South Warren. Gavin Spurrier, a junior, threw for 263 yards and two touchdowns. He's the son of Steve Spurrier, Jr., who's now the quarterback coach at Western Kentucky. From the high school football scoreboard, last week, Perry Central wins a shootout over McCreary Central, 64-58 in four overtimes. It was Knox Central, 27-20 over Letcher Central. East Carter dropped McGuffin County, 36-6 while Paintsville rolled over Estill County 41-14, and Floyd Central defeated Harlan 28-12. Dylan Cottle with 135 yards rushing and two touchdowns. Stay tuned, more highlights and interviews from week one coming up, along with a preview of the 33rd Annual Community Trust Bank Pike County Bowl, this week's Super 7 rankings, and the area schedule. It's Armchair Quarterback, presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches, in the Pikeville Commons. Here's some football inspiration to take you to the break. Ability is what you're capable of doing. Motivation determines what you do. Attitude determines how well you do it. From Lou Holtz, former college coach. We'll be right back. Jimmy, and this has been my definition of fresh since 1983. The good folks at Howard Family Pharmacy grew up right here in Eastern Kentucky. They know this town just as well as they know their customers. You want to be greeted by a friend and a pharmacist you know and trust. Come see Wes Howard, Tiffany Jacobs, and Lauren Mullins at Howard Family Pharmacy. Located at Eastern, near Allen Central High School. Call or visit HowardFamilyPharmacy.com. Most insurance plans are accepted, late hours, and open on Saturday, too. Howard Family Pharmacy. If you're looking for a fun, safe, friendly atmosphere to achieve your fitness goals, be sure to check out Heavenly Strong, a Christian fitness group that supports your physical and spiritual journey to wellness. Call 606-434-9914 for more information. No matter where you are on your journey to physical and spiritual wellness, Heavenly Strong is here for you.
It's the high school football game of the week, presented by Paul Howard Jr., attorney at law, and the Golden Corral Restaurant in Pikeville. The Floyd Central Jaguars play their first home game ever, taking on the Bobcats from Betsy Lane. The game of the week airs Saturday at 7 and Sunday at 4 and 8.30, only on EKB-TV. Welcome back, everyone. It's Armchair Quarterback, brought to you by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches in Pikeville Commons. It's time to look at last week's action. The Pikeville Panthers opened the 2017 season, welcoming Covington Holy Cross to the Hambly Complex. That welcome turned sour quickly. The Panthers blew this game open in the first quarter, rolling to 37 opening stanza points. Here's how they did it. First quarter, Zach Roberts with a two yard run. After a big run down the far sideline, Roberts will punch it in from just two yards out. And the Panthers take an early seven nothing lead after the extra point. After the free kick, the Panthers will get a long run back. How about Jackson Hensley? 65-yard return on the free kick. The Panthers score quickly. That free kick coming after a safety that the Panthers defense had put up. Heichel goes on top. Now, Peyton Boyd Blair. He'll look down the far sideline, 24-yard pass to Seth Pugh, and the Panthers are rolling. Still in the first quarter, and there's still plenty more points to come in that opening quarter. Zach Roberts, you'll hear that name. He goes down the near sideline, cuts back, gets a block, gets another block, and then just outruns the Covington Holy Cross defender, a little stiff arm and into the corner of the end zone. 50 yard run for Roberts. Continuing with first quarter action, Christian Billiter. You'll see the ball pop loose on the ground, a scramble. Billiter will pick it up and he does what he does best. He's an athlete, he can run. He outruns everyone to the end zone. 25 yard fumble return. Panthers up 37 nothing running clock as we go to the second quarter. Connor Wright, how about a 54 yard run? Had a big hole, outruns everyone down the sideline. At the half, Pikeville on top, 44 nothing. Then in the third quarter, Zach Roberts, he finished with nearly 200 yards on the night. A 75 yard run. Good blocking at the point of attack and downfield. And then Roberts just outruns and breaks a tackle. Panthers go on top by 51. The final, Pikeville 51, Covington Holy Cross 14. Zach Roberts, 193 yards rushing, three touchdowns. Next up, the Panthers will take on Lexington Christian in the Pike County Bowl this weekend, Saturday night. Panther coach Chris McNamee shared his thoughts on the opening win. Well, I was really uh, happy with the way our guys came out. Uh, you know, both, both teams, us and Holy Cross, uh, didn't have a lot of experienced play, players returning, but I thought our guys came out and got on them early and, and uh, forced them into some bad situations and were able to get up uh, by a few points there early. And, well, I, I thought uh, we got to the ball well. I thought we played aggressive, um, you know, forced a few turnovers, uh, you know, scored a defensive touchdown. Um, also got uh, you know a safety and punt return, so I scored a lot of different ways. But defensively, I was, ha I was happy the way our guys got after it. And the Letcher Central Cougars hosted Knox Central Friday night at Whitesburg. It was a beautiful night early. <laughs> Letcher Central dressed in the blue. Quarterback Nick Sergeant passes to Nathan Short. Will hurdle, hurdle a defender for a five-yard gain. In the red zone. Sergeant hands off to Hunter Campbell. Campbell, five yard touchdown run into the end zone and Letcher Central with the lead early in this one. Then Knox Central quarterback, Blevin Campbell, hand off to Ethan Mills. Simply a 10 yard gain, but Knox Central able to move the football. 
Fourth down, Knox Central. They choose to punt Hunter Campbell deep. A 20 yard punt return. Knox Central will get the ball back. Quarterback Blevin Campbell fakes the give, completes the pass to Jacob Barnard. 12 yard gain. Knox Central able to move the football all night in the red zone, looking to punch it in. Mills takes the handoff, comes up short. He'll fall to the two yard line. Very next play. Campbell to give to Jermel Carlton. He'll walk into the end zone untouched. Cougars with the ball in their own territory after a little celebration by Knox Central. Sergeant will get the ball out to Blake Brashears. 13 yard gain and the passing attack moving the football for Letcher Central. That drive stalls and Knox Central with the football. They'll drive downfield. Campbell completes the pass to Nick Martin, 20 yard pickup. Knox Central again, looking to score. Campbell with the quarterback keeper, scrambles to the sideline. He'll lose the football and the Panthers recover for a 13 yard gain. Knox Central spoils opening night for the Cougars in the end. Knox Central 27, Letcher Central 20. Stay tuned, more highlights and interviews from week one coming up along with a preview of the 33rd annual Community Trust Bank Pike County Bowl, this week's Super 7 rankings, and this week's schedule. It's Armchair Quarterback, presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches in Pikeville Commons. Jimmy, and this has been my definition of fresh since 1983. If you're looking for a fun, safe, friendly atmosphere to achieve your fitness goals, be sure to check out Heavenly Strong, a Christian fitness group that supports your physical and spiritual journey to wellness. Call 606-434-9914 for more information. No matter where you are on your journey to physical and spiritual wellness, Heavenly Strong is here for you. The good folks at Howard Family Pharmacy grew up right here in Eastern Kentucky. They know this town just as well as they know their customers. You want to be greeted by a friend and a pharmacist you know and trust. Come see Wes Howard, Tiffany Jacobs, and Lauren Mullins at Howard Family Pharmacy. Located at Eastern, near Allen Central High School. Call or visit HowardFamilyPharmacy.com. Most insurance plans are accepted. Late hours and open on Saturday too. Howard Family Pharmacy. Eastern Kentucky, beautiful, green, peaceful, friendly. But there's a darker side to these mountains. When crime is committed, sometimes cases go unsolved. Occasionally, the perpetrators even get away with murder. On our latest news segment, The Scene of the Crime, I'll be working with local law enforcement to help find justice for victims and their families. The Scene of the Crime, Fridays during the EKB News at 6 and 10, starting August 25th. Welcome back everyone, it's Armchair Quarterback presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches in Pikeville Commons. Last week, Shelby Valley was playing without running back Seth Johnson. Tico Field at Robinson Creek was the scene as the Jenkins Cavaliers traveled US 23 to battle Shelby Valley. The Wildcats took control early. Mason Lane, you'll hear that name often tonight. Lane had a huge night. Shelby Valley quarterback Clay Morgan gives the ball off to Jordan Little. 20 yard gain and again, Morgan takes the snap, this time gives to Mason Lane around the opposite end, 22 yard touchdown. That's where it got started. 
Wildcats are driving down the field when Morgan connects with wide open Dylan Newsom, 30 yard Shelby Valley touchdown. Valley in the red zone looking to punch it in. Mason Lane up the middle. He'll come up just short near the one yard line. Jenkins now on offense pushing the ball downfield. The quarterback finds a wide open receiver down the sideline. 35 yard gain. Jenkins in business. The Cavaliers still looking for their first score. The quarterback scrambles to his right, dumps it off to a receiver down the sideline, makes a man miss. 22 yard gain for the Cavaliers. That drive will stall. The Wildcats are back inside the tent. Guess who? Mason Lane takes the handoff, gets around the edge. Seven yard touchdown and medical leader, sportsman Teddy Painter getting some air time. The final, Shelby Valley 66, Jenkins nothing. Next up, Twin Valley will be at Jenkins Friday. Shelby Valley faces Pike Central Saturday in the Pike County Bowl at Pikeville. Let's travel to Betsy Lane where the Sheldon Clark Cardinals open the season on the hill facing the Betsy Lane Bobcats. Sheldon Clark quarterback Drake Muncie. He'll give the ball to Zach Priest up the middle. Sheldon Clark rolling 14 yard gain. Very next play, Muncie hands off to Brent Burke around the end. He'll run over a defensive back and dives for the 15 yard gain. Cardinals now in the red zone. Brent Burke takes the give up the middle and punches it in. That's an eight yard score for Sheldon Clark. The Bobcats now looking to make a drive. Quarterback Bradley Woods gives off to Quentin Adkins. He has the ball knocked loose and Austin Bordens recovers the fumble for Sheldon Clark. D lineman gets his hands on the ball. Happy guy. That fumble recovery puts the Cardinals in the red zone. Zach Priest brings the ball around the end, looking for the end zone. Big hit knocks him out of bounds into the cameraman. He crosses the plane for a touchdown, 10 yards, and Sheldon Clark puts six on the board. Back deep to the return, the kick for the Bobcats, Jacob Williams. He gets a nice return, a couple of big blocks, and on his own, he'll have a 25-yard return. Betsy Lane now on the move, looking to score. Quentin Adkins takes the handoff. That's a 17-yard gain before he's pushed out of bounds. Again, Woods takes the snap, and he'll give off to Quentin Adkins. 15-yard gain for Betsy Lane. This game back and forth, the Bobcats in the red zone, looking to punch it in. Woods takes the snap, quarterback keeper. Down the near side. Goes around the edge, 12 yard touchdown. Bobcats with the lead. The final, however, Sheldon Clark 26, Betsy Lane 24. Next up, Sheldon Clark is at Knott Central. Betsy Lane goes to Floyd Central. It's our EKB TV game of the week. Stay tuned to preview of the 33rd annual Community Trust Bank Pike County Bowl this week's Super 7 rankings and the area schedule. It's Armchair Quarterback presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches in the Pikeville Commons. Jimmy, and this has been my definition of fresh since 1983. Appalachian Wireless and the stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting present the long, hot summer of cold, hard cash. And while summer is indeed winding down, you still have plenty of opportunity to win big. Money. 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 
Register at your local Appalachian Wireless location every week. We'll give away $500 in cold hard cash every Friday till Labor Day. The more you enter, the more chances you have to win. No purchase necessary. All entries stay eligible for the $3,000 grand prize to be given away Friday, September 1st. You can also like and share our cold hard cash post on Facebook for a chance at the grand prize. Money, money, money. You may be just as lucky as last week's winner. My name's Ollie Rowe. I'm from Mealy, Kentucky, and I just won $500 from Appalachian Wireless. The long, hot summer of cold, hard cash. Exclusively on the stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting and Appalachian Wireless. I'm Jimmy, and this has been my definition of fresh since 1983. Welcome back to Armchair Quarterback, presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Subs in Pikeville Commons. The unofficial kickoff of the season takes place this weekend with the 33rd annual Community Trust Bank Pike County Bowl to be played at Cam Stadium at Belfry and Pikeville's Hamley Complex. The Community Trust Bank Pike County Bowl has seen 32 years of success with over $812,000 being returned to the schools. While a financial success and fan favorite, Belfry head coach Philip Haywood, who has coached in all 33 bowls, shares his thoughts on what the bowl means to high school football in our region. It, it's always a good atmosphere. You know, we have huge crowds for the bowl game. Uh, it's, it's something our kids look forward to, and it's something that over the years has really been good for us because it brings in some big name teams from way back when, from the Fort Thomas Highlands, uh, Louisville Mail, and people like that from all across the state have come to play in this bowl. So it gives us some good name recognition, and it lets people know about the programs here in Eastern Kentucky, and in our case, Belfort High School. And you can make a huge difference by coming out and uh, being in those stands and letting these kids see you in the stands when they come out on the field on that Friday night. But, it, uh, but it's been a great bowl game, and uh, great thanks to Community Trust Bank and the bowl committee and all the things that they've done and the original guys that came up with the idea because it's been such a good thing for football in this area. While Panther head coach Chris Magnamy has not coached in each of the bowls, he has been a player, coach, and coach of a visiting team in the bowl. Coach Mag tells us why the bowl is special. Well, I just think for Eastern Kentucky in general, I think it's a good thing. I think uh, uh, football in our part of the state has come a long way, you know, since we started this bowl years and years ago. But um, you know, we get we get a chance to bring some good teams in here and, and and see what they've got, and also for them to see what what we have to offer here. And I think you know, hosting at Belfry and here at Pikeville um, are two of the best programs around. And, uh, I know our kids look forward to it every year. Well, I think you're going to see a good football team in Lexington Christian coming in. Um, I know they'll bring, they'll travel well. Uh, I know our people will come out, and it's just you know we've got a good first game before us with uh, Shelby Valley and and Pike Central, two close teams. So it's it's always packed here, a big time atmosphere for uh, this early in the season, and uh, I'm hoping that everybody comes out and supports their their local teams. The bowl kicks off at 635 at Belfry's KM Stadium with the East Ridge Warriors battling the Phelps Hornets and the four-time defending state champion Belfry Pirates taking on Huntington High at 835. Saturday's Pike County Bowl lineup includes Pike Central and Shelby Valley at 630 in the opener and Pikeville hosting Lexington Christian at 835 at Hillard Howard Field. Saturday night, one of eight Pike County Bowl Queen candidates will be crowned Pike County Bowl Queen and the 2017 Bowl Legend honoree will be presented. This year's Pike County Bowl Legend is former Pikeville and UK lineman Bob Shirtliff. And week two of the Kentucky high school football season has some great matchups. Things get started with the 33rd Pike County Bowl. Friday at Belfry's KM Stadium, Phelps East Ridge at 635, Belfry Huntington High at 835, 
radio coverage on 93.1 WDHR, 103.1 The Rock and Z1075. And the first home game ever for Floyd Central kicks off at 7.30 Friday with the Jaguars hosting Betsy Lane. Mingo Central will be at Point Pleasant, a game you'll hear on 96.5 WXCC, and Sherman is at Tug Valley. In other action, Tulsa goes to Wayne. Paintsville visits Harlan. Harlan County is at Hazard in a big matchup. Capital West Virginia travels to Johnson Central. Sheldon Clark is at Knott Central. McGoffin County goes to Lawrence County. North Laurel will visit Prestonsburg. And on Saturday's schedule, Pike Central Shelby Valley 635 at Pikeville's Hamley Complex in the Bowl and Pikeville facing Lexington Christian at 835. You can catch complete coverage of the Pike County Bowl on WDHR 103.1 The Rock, Z1075 and Hit City 98.1 FM. And the college football season kicks off tonight. The University of Pikeville Bears are on the road at Campbellsville. The Bears coming off a of Mid-South Conference East Division Championship look to open the season where it left off with a win. Kickoff is at 7 in Campbellsville. Complete coverage on EKB's 107.5, Z107.5 and online at Z1075.com. That's going to do it for the season premiere of Armchair Quarterback. Thanks so much for tuning in. We hope you've enjoyed the show and join us again each week at this time. I'll leave you with this, a very true quote and thought about football and something that relates to life, something to ponder. Winning is not a sometime thing, it's an all the time thing. You don't win once in a while, you don't do things right once in a while, you do them right all the time. Winning is a habit. Unfortunately, so is losing. From the great Packers coach, Vince Lombardi. Have a great week, everyone. Armchair Quarterback is a presentation of EKB Sports and brought to you by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches, Pikeville Commons. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Armchair Quarterback with Andrew Joyce, presented by Jimmy John's of Pikeville.